Laser Master. Master the laser. You guys remember the 1.5 kilowatt Laser Master? Well, now we have the 2 kilowatt Laser Master, which is even more powerful. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install it and all the parameters involved. Every function on the menu and of course specify the differences between the 1.5 kilowatt and the 2 kilowatt. Stick around. So what are the differences between these two machines? Basically, they're all the same in most of the features. To start with, the physical size of the machine is still the same. The difference is roughly about 5 kilos in the weight of the two machines, with the 2000 kilowatts being a bit heavier, of course. Adding on to that, your torch that you use for the cleaning is still basically 8 meters, with 1 meter internal and the other 7 meters for you to play around with. You can still weld with this machine and you still use the same amount of water. So in terms of portability, it's basically still all the same. You can still move around with this baby. The main difference, however, is going to come in here. This is your laser power supply. It comes in either as a 1.5 kilowatt or a 2 kilowatt. If you choose the 1.5 kilowatt, you're going to use single phase power, which means you don't need three phase power to start with. But however, you're going to need a minimum of 40 amps for the breaker that is going to be the plug in which you're going to connect your machine. If your selection, however, is the 2 kilowatts, you're now using more power. Ergo, we will need your electricity to be a bit more stable so that you don't continually trip the breaker. So now we're going to need three phase power, which is normally industrial. However, some households do have three phase power. That's your 380 volt supply. Now let's talk about the menu. Basically, it's all the same. Only that the 2000 watts is going to give me a bigger range of power to choose from. All right, so let's go through the menu. By default, it's going to be in welding mode. So first thing I want to do is tell it how much power am I using. As you can see, 1500 watt craft package. That's how much I'm using. If I go to settings, which is on the top right of the screen, I can go to parameter settings. And here I can set all of the other things like my gas control, which I can increase or decrease here. Normally we advise you don't change any of this because by default we set this. But if I want to increase the delay at which the gas comes out, the proportion of the gas and the laser, and all of that, I can set it here. Back is simply the button to go back. If I go to menu again, the other option I have is settings for position of the red light, which is the beam that comes on when I'm about to clean or to weld. The main thing I want to look at here is on hardware configurations. It's gonna ask for a password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. With that being pressed, you can see here, it tells me 1,500 watts, which I could change. If I press this, it gives me the option to change from 1,000, 1 1.5, 2,000, 3,000. Meaning, if I have a 2,000 watt machine, I can operate it as a 1,000, as a 1,500, or as a 2,000 watt machine. If I have a 1,500 watt machine, I can operate it as either a 1,000 watt or a 1.5 kilowatt machine. For now, let's say I put it at a thousand. Next thing I have here, I should always have this on. This is just for my air pressure power and also the lighting gate timing function, which I'm going to show you what it is when we start. For new purchases, when you buy this machine, you might find the machine could be in Chinese. How do you change the language? Simply come to the menu and come to the second option on your left, which is settings for SN and language. Once you get in there, you'll be able to change here between English and all the other ones which you might want to try. Still on the settings, the last function you're going to see is the cleaning mode. I will only use this function when I actually want to use it to clean. But if I do not want to clean and I just want to weld, then I do not have to get in there. This is enough for me to start. So in the welding menu, you can see as I had selected 1000 watt craft package, although I do have a 1.5 kilowatt power supply, it's allowing me to use 1000 watts. I can select the material that I'm using. You can see here, you have your aluminum, you have your carbon steel, 
you have your stainless steel and all the other metals that you can have. With this being selected, I can also tell it the thickness that I have of the material that I have, all the way up to 3.5 millimeters. This is not to say that I cannot be able to do anything that is thicker than what is written here. Finally, just before I start welding, I'll need to make sure that all of these lights, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, should be on. To start with, the red light pointer should be on. And I can only have it on as soon as I turn my laser power on. Right, you can see it's on. Next thing is my gas. This switch is just gonna open the solenoid valve for the air that you're bringing. Keep in mind, and please note it very well, that I need my air to be very clean, not have dirt or any moisture. So it's very advisable to put air dryers on your airline. And finally, this is the gate switch that I need to turn on before I start welding. And with these four lights being on, we're ready to start welding. And if you want more information on welding, please feel free to check our video that we made on welding on Achievement Matters. But now for the most used feature on this machine, which is cleaning, I'm gonna go to the settings here and I'm gonna choose the cleaning mode. It's gonna ask me a question to say that it has the dedicated cleaning module or cleaning gun being replaced, which is of course a switch between the gun for cleaning and the gun for welding. With that connection being ready, I'm just gonna say yes, and now I'm in the mode for cleaning. To start with, I can choose different kinds of beams depending on where I want to penetrate for me to be able to do my cleaning. I can have it as a straight line, I can have it as a circle, as a star ray, or any of these other shapes that you see here. After that, I can also choose the kind of cleaning that I want to do. This is the strength. If I'm removing light coatings, like um, your red oxides for your window protection and all of that, I could just have it on non-destructive cleaning. That means at the same thousand watts, it's going to give me less focus than it is if it was, let's say, on heavy cleaning. The heavy cleaning, I'm gonna use it for the thicker coatings or for other materials which are much thicker. I could also come here to standard clarity uh, which is an in-between of the two extremes. The cleaning power is basically the outlet that I allow depending on the wattage that I had set. Now, let's say I had it on 100%. If I had set it in my configuration to be a 1000 watt machine, that means I would be using 1000 watts to do the cleaning. If I bring it to 50%, uh, What this means is, if I'd set this machine on a 1000 watts, I'd now be using 500 watts. That's how you change in between. However, if I had set it to be 1500 watts, that means 50% of that would now be 750 watts. So it's always important to note what was the package you had chosen before you set the cleaning power. And finally, the width of the beam, of course. Depending again on where I want the beam to penetrate so that it's able to clean, I can make this bigger all the way up to 150 millimeters, which is 15 centimeters, or at the most minimum position, which is about 30 millimeters. That's it on this functions here. And finally, just before I start to clean, I need to make sure one, two, and three of these lights are actually on. With any of them not being on, I'm not gonna be able to actually do the job. So that's it on our Laser Master package for 1.5 and 2 kilowatts. Look out for more of our videos on our YouTube page, am.co.za. Also, you can contact support on 060 600 6000. Cheers. Laser Master. Master the laser.
2023 marks the 10th anniversary of am.co.za in the South African market. And through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our 10th anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Grand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in 2023. The facility will comprise a massive 2,000 square meter warehouse, 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space, and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor. 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine Dot Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts, and consumables. Machine Dot Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.